fiesta, salsa, quinceañera. <laughs> Rise and shine. I can't tell if this lighting's like really good or I'm gonna be editing and I'm gonna look like a Roblox character. Welcome back to another video. I haven't filmed in mad long. It kind of feels like weird. It kind of feels weird. I haven't filmed in so long. It feels a little bit weird, but we're gonna, we're naturals at this. So, you know, it's not gonna be too hard to just jump right back on in there. Pastel pink in the sunset. You know I never wanna make you upset. How did I become so upset? Okay, so as you know, well, you don't know. Some of you do know. I'm really hot. I'm really hot right now. Like, I'm really hot. It's because I'm wearing this. It's... Look at He's thirst trapping. Okay. Ew, this is so ugly. This is literally the ugliest thing I've ever... Why did I buy this? As, no. Uh, there's a lot of dust in the air. Like, one of y'all are fucking ashy as shit. Um, I need some chapstick. I'm a little bit like frustrated because I was trying to film this. I was grabbing all this lighting and there was a bug, like a nasty ass bug on one of these lightings. And I just, I almost threw the whole thing away. I almost threw the house away. And then my dog shit in the basement. It's just, it's been a lot. As you know, if you are following my Instagram and I mean my Instagram, I started my own brand. <laughs> I can sew a little bit, just a little bit now. I, I basically took a lot of time to the side of just learning how to sew and be a creative bitch. And yeah. So if you are following me on Instagram, you would know that I did start my own brand. So I basically do like exclusive drops of stuff that I make. And I thought, why not have a video of every time that I'm dropping something and we could go ahead and put the before and the after of what I am making. And I feel like seeing the process of what I'm making and yada, 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 will be like a cool little, a cool little moment. Like, you know how there's like the makeup artist. This is basically like a grandma gown and then couture. Oh my God, my dog looks so cute right now. Maybe I should just stop filming this and just go cuddle with my dog. He's so cute. All right, stay there though. Keep sleeping. Without further ado, we're going to get right into today's video. I need like a, I need like a signature like intro to this. What's something like that has to do with making clothes? Oh, <gasps> with, with the clothes. Do you get it? You'll see. Oh, oh, no, with liner. I'm just, this is just you witnessing the creativity. <sighs> Not the host texting me while I'm trying to film. I'm so excited. I'm actually genuinely excited because I love filming YouTube videos, but I used to live in Georgia. Uh, I used to live in Georgia, and when I lived in Georgia, I just really didn't have much to film. Like, you know, it was nice out there, but I had no friends, no relationship. I was basically just out there by myself. So there wasn't a lot of creativity spark when I was out there, you know? So without further ado, into today's video. Look at that transition. So this is basically what we're working on. It's, so this is how I get my clothing. Um, there, this is how I get my clothing. There's nothing on it. There's no cuts, no embroidery. 
no nothing. Um, so everything that you see, I mean, at this point in time, is stuff that I'm making myself. So I'm not receiving it with a cut down the middle or, you know, a heart on the ass. Like I'm doing all that myself. We're also going to be doing it on some pants. So this is how the pants come. Oh no, I just rolled over them. Oh my God, and now there's like a wheel mark on them. Dude, my life is so tragic. I think what I want to do is a cross like this in the middle. Wait, we're just gonna go with it. But I know I want this to show a little skin. I like things that show skin. I mean, if it was up to me, I would be shirtless all the time. So I'm going to do, I think, a cross here. I just I just want to use this on this. Okay, that's that's all you need to know right now. This is like the most corny measuring tape but it works so good <laughs> all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do four inches down from the middle ow i just hit my kneecap that does not look like the middle where's the middle i've had a fuck enough oh my god i just looked at the camera for a second i thought i wasn't recording i just almost lost it so these are the colors i'm These are the colors I'm currently debating. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the gold. Why is my hand so jittery? Once upon a time not long ago, I was a hoe. Okay, so I know you probably wanna see because you're a nosy little bitch. This is honestly so satisfying to watch this. But ah! I'm gonna do one more on the sleeve. I'm gonna do one on the sleeve. You'll see, you'll see the vision. So I think I'm gonna do one on the sleeve, but I'm going to do one two two inches. We know some of y'all be working with. Two Two inches down. I don't know why, but I feel so professional when I'm measuring stuff. Just having this bad boy out, like I have a degree. When I first started doing like anything with a sewing machine, I was like livid every single move I made. Cause everything was just so touchy. I mean, I literally just had a whole malfunction. You just didn't see it because it wasn't the best side of me. Doing the sleeve is kind of going to be harder because it's like a little bit further down the sleeve and this isn't like a sleeve importer machine. Whatever that means. Dude, that just stabbed me in my uterus. This is so like therapeutic and aesthetic of us to be doing right now. Like we're making clothes. The thing about me is when I'm making clothes, I'm very like particular and I want everything to be a certain way. And if it's the slightest bit off, it's a big issue. It's a big issue. So I'm very precise in everything that I make. And I think that's the way it should be. I have to kind of like hold everything back because it's way too close. Okay, so that's gonna be the placement. It's, it's looking good. But I have a bigger vision for it. So this is the sleeve. Cool, cool, whatever, 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 whatever. But I got some, I got some coming. So that's gonna be super cool. One, like, here, look. Even if you wanted to wear something blue. Ooh! How high can I make you? You get me so high. I'm taking you down just to show you how tall my try. I did not know it could get this high. Look how tall it could get. Literally taller than me, and I'm six foot one. Okay, so. I have the shirt here. I think. 
So basically, I cut out some crosses. Look how artsy I am. And then I also kept the outline of it because I want to do a reverse effect. I'm really scared to like spray my eye. I don't know why. Like, why would I spray my eye? But it's just like a fear of mine. Okay, so I have this cut out. It's literally, I mean, I think it's, it's perfect. Like, and it's Christian. I want some ripples, so I'm like, I think I'm gonna fold it a little bit. This lighting though. Why am I so out of breath? All I did was squat. I'm gonna do some ripples, which could come out amazing, or it could look like an ugly bitch. All right, here we go. Ah! Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. <coughs> Okay, I thought that one was gonna come out really bad, but it's actually super neat. Did I spray my whole hand with bleach? Yes. And now we pray. Okay. I got hot, so I had to put a tank top on. I also made this. I made this. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'm going to put, you know what, I need some, they make me look smarter, like when I have these on. I'm thinking I'm gonna put my logo onto the cuffs right here. So this is a stretchy material, so I need to use something that's able to stretch, obviously, to a certain capability. I wouldn't go like, but yeah, yer. So I'm excited for this. This looks really good so far. So I think this is a good sign. I'm kind of feeling these. I'm kind of feeling these glasses. No notifications. Oh my God, they look the same. How am I supposed to know which one's which? Ugh. Heat transfer. Sorry, I'm bad at reading. Just give me a second. So first I'm gonna cut this while that's... Rude. Can you see that? This is my logo, in case you didn't know. My room is so hot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait for that to cool. <laughs> so I did black on black because I wanted like a subtle effect. Ooh. Oh shit. Ugh. Dude. Ah! Oh! oh my god. That's what I was saying. Ooh, it's nice. I like the subtle kind of black. It looks expensive. I like the shininess of it. I think it's good. You can see it clearly, but at the same time, it's not like the focal point of the shirt. I wanna make a hole. Ow! <laughs> I wanna make a hole in each of the elbows. Okay, the sleeves actually came out really good. I'm dying to show you guys the back and everything, but I'm gonna wait for the reveal. These distresses are perfection. And we are going to get, get the pants out of the dryer and have a final reveal. Okay, my phone's on 5%. My hands smell like bleach. My mouth tastes like bleach. I'm hungry, but we're done. The final reveal is here.
So the bleach marks actually ended up coming through perfectly. When I was making those little ripples, this actually, I didn't even make these at the same time and it directly goes into this one. So that was just God's plan. I'm really liking the K Sky on the hands. The distresses really did come out nice around the, I like the little elbow thing. Gives it a little bit of like a different kind of look. I could wear any color underneath and it'll kind of change the vibe of the cross. You know what I mean? If I wanted to wear green underneath, the cross will be green. You know what I mean? It's so hot in here because I was using the heat press. It's like 400 degrees in here. The pants came out extra neat, like, but this definitely gives, I would rate this outfit in 100 out of 10. Um, I don't make the rules. The half, yeah, see it bleached perfectly down. Stop looking at my butt. It bleached perfectly down the center and the pants kind of have like a little bit of a bell bottom to them. So like with some air forces or something, it'll kind of like flare out a little bit. I do really appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Uh, let me know if you did like this series. I kind of like this thing that I got going. I'm going to be doing one of these every time that I have a new release on my site. If you are interested in purchasing anything from my site, including this, um, I'm going to be doing exclusive releases every now and again. So not everything's going to be up there permanently. Some stuff is just going to cycle its way through until we're out of stock. But you can head over to ksky.shop and make sure to get your purchase in before we are out of stock on whatever it is that you are tuning in and buying. Make sure you drop a comment, tell me what your favorite part about this is, whether it's the slits, the cross, the da 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 da. Like and subscribe for future videos and I will see y'all next time. Peace. I'm gonna walk away like a bad bitch.